Have you ever gone out, shot some awesome footage, got home, looked at it on a big monitor and realized how grainy it was? Don't worry, I've suffered from this in the past, it's not just you. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing with you guys how you can remove grain from your Canon C-Log3 footage. And I'm gonna start right now. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell to stay in the loop and be notified when we release new videos. To understand why your footage is grainy, even when you're shooting at your camera's native ISO, we need to understand why shooting in log is different versus shooting in a standard picture profile. When you're shooting in a standard picture profile, you wanna shoot at roughly zero EV or your camera's metering of zero. So you're not underexposing and you're not overexposing your footage. But when you're shooting in a log profile, especially C-Log3, you actually want to slightly overexpose your footage. Now, I go into more detail how you can correctly expose your C-Log3 footage in uh, this video here, so make sure to watch that. But the gist of it is you want to overexpose it by around 0.7 to 1.5 stops overexposed, depending on certain lighting environments. The problem is, if you don't do that and you just correctly expose your footage and treat it like a standard picture profile, you'll find when you go ahead and color grade your log profile, it is very dark. And because it's dark, you bring up the exposure, showing all of that grain, especially in the shadow regions. So the biggest way to remove grain from your footage is make sure that you slightly overexpose your footage or correctly expose your log footage for your lighting environment. And for C-Log3, that's usually 0.5 to 1.5 stops overexposed. If you don't do that, then you go ahead and color grade your footage. It's gonna look dark. You're gonna have to bring it up, showing a lot of grain. But what happens if you've already shot your footage and it's already too grainy? Well, let me show you a couple of fixes that we can do inside Premiere Pro to basically remove grain from your video. So to show you the problem with underexposing your log footage and treating it the same as you would do with a standard picture profile from your camera, I've done two videos here. The first video is correctly exposed for log footage. So it's about 1.5 top overexposed in my studio. And you can see we haven't made any major changes. Your exposure and contrast are the same. And all I've done is I've just darkened the shadows you can see here by about minus 26, and then plus and minus increased the whites here by plus 10 and minus minus 10. But the second clip here, I've treated like I would do a standard picture profile. But all I've done is I've actually treated the color grading the same. So I haven't changed the exposure, which is why it looks dark. And all I've done is I've minus 26.1 the shadows and again, plus and minus 10 in the whites and blacks. So to correctly expose it, what I would do is I'd go to my exposure here and bring that up by around about 1.2 stops. So that would match the exposure again, both of these were shot at native ISO, so ISO 800. All I've done is I've just put a one-stop ND on the second shot, so it's darkened it, so it's correctly exposed, or what you would do with a standard picture profile. Where with this one, I was about one, I think it was 1.1 stops overexposed, and you can see, once you've color graded it, it looks really good. But look how grainy this footage is. So what I can do is actually zoom in. So if I zoom in just next to my head here, you can see in the background, there doesn't seem to be much grain. But if I go to the next shot, look how much more grain there is. I'm not shooting at a higher ISO or anything like that. It's just because how I've treated that footage. Because I've treated it like I would do with a normal log footage, it's made it look very grainy. So the first step is to treat your footage correctly when you go ahead and color grade it. So instead of just simply whacking up the exposure, let's go ahead and reset this. So this is what it would normally look like. So let's go to where I'm actually looking at myself. There we go. What I'm gonna do instead of just bringing up the shadows, which is what's going to expose all of that grain, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna to go to my highlights first, bring that up. I'm gonna to go to the whites here as well. I'm gonna bring that up as well. Now I'm gonna bring up my exposure by a small amount, but instead of just simply affecting the exposure, I'm gonna to go to the shadows here and bring that down. And the more you bring down the shadow slider, the more grain you're going to hide. Now, what I'm also gonna do is just open up my Lumetri scope here so I can see roughly what I'm going for. And as you can see, a lot of information's in the shadows. So I'm gonna bring those down a little bit further. I'm gonna bring the highlights up a little bit more as well. And then with the saturation here, I'm also gonna bring that up by around about 110. 
And then uh, because I don't know why my log footage does this, it's a little bit too uh, magenta. So I'm gonna go for minus three in the tint and a plus three in the temperature there. Uh, or might actually might just not affect that. But as you can see, there's now a little bit less grain than there was originally. Now we can actually reduce that even further by going to the blacks here and also dropping that down by around about minus 15 there. So although we are actually exposing the same because we've treated the file slightly differently it's going to show less grain the grain is going to be there but the grain isn't going to be as visually obvious than it was previously if we treated it like a standard log profile so we'll go for something like so so we might have to underexpose it a little bit more but you can see now we zoom in the grain is still there but it's not as obvious which is really nice and if we compare it to my normal footage what I might actually do is increase the contrast on my normal footage a little bit more. Might bring those highlights down, bring those shadows to match. So actually, they're not too far apart from each other and the grain doesn't look much different. Now, obviously there is going to be less grain in this footage because obviously we've exposed it properly, but you can see because we haven't stretched and push the file as, as as far, it's not going to cause those grain to really show. We're hiding it within the shadow regions. But there is a second step that we can make here even better. So what we're gonna do is go back. So I'm just gonna go for this footage here with the layer actually selected. So we're gonna go for that video clip. What I'm gonna do is drop out of my Lumetri color and go to my effects. And what you wanna do is type in VR this will bring up our uh, VR effects here and we're gonna go for denoise. So I'm gonna do is drag and drop that over our file. Now, straight away, it's gonna make our video look very soft. And if we actually play that back, it has basically completely ruined it. It looks almost out of focus. So what we're gonna do is go to my effects controls. We're gonna to go to where that particular effect has been applied. We're gonna to go to noise level. We're gonna drop that down and we're gonna drew set down to around about 0.05. Anything more than that, you'll notice it will completely ruin your footage. And now if we play it back, it has reduced that grain significantly. Now it has softened the image, so you might actually want to sharpen it up, but especially if we look in the shadows there and we do a direct comparison, so this is correct, and then this is our footage, you can see although there is grain, it is nowhere near as bad as it once was. So I recommend adding in VR denoise and then dropping it down to around about 0.05 or less, a very subtle amount, and I must say it will make it look a lot better. So there are two things that you can do to basically have less grain within your footage. First thing is to properly treat your log footage. If you have underexposed it, try and save it using the highlights instead of bringing up the shadows. And lastly, you can always add a denoise effect to your video. And there we have it. There are my two quick fixes on how you can remove grain from your Canon C-Log3 footage in Adobe Premiere Pro. And if this video helped you out, make sure to go ahead and give it a like. Plus, if you really like content like this, maybe consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I've been James for Video Fever, and I'll catch you guys next time.